Hey folks, this is Jake Davis. <coughs> Excuse me. With a classic review for you today, I'm talking about Bad Boys 2. Released in 2003, directed by Michael Bay, produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, and starring Martin Lawrence, Will Smith, Gabrielle Union, Theresa Randall, uh, Joe Pantoliano, Michael Shannon. Uh, I had never seen this film until today. I remember... A few years before my daughter was, my oldest daughter was born, I had a copy of it that I, uh, VHS, uh, VHS, uh, DVD copy of it, I was sitting right over there on that table, uh, right next to my TV for about two or three months. And I never got around to watching it, I just ended up just letting my buddy get his movie back. Uh, so, you know, with Bad Boys 3, Bad Boys for Life coming out this Friday, I figured I'd finally break down and sit down and watch this movie. Now, I remember in 2003 when this film came out thinking, eight years since the first one, is there really a need for a sequel? <laughs> 17 years later, there's part fucking three. But don't worry, that's not, that's not the most ridiculous sequel of the year. We have the totally unnecessary Top Gun 2 coming out this summer. 34 fucking years after the original movie. Could there be more unnecessary of a fucking endeavor? Anyhow, the whole setup to this is, you know, they're, they're the tactical narcotics team, which basically means they go around shooting and murdering, uh, you know people with victimless crimes and shit like that. Uh, I mean, they, they run around, they shoot a lot of people, and they, I, I mean, by about 20, 30 minutes into the movie, I'm sitting there thinking, you know, uh, I'm starting to think the bad boys might be the film's real villains. Yeah, sure, these guys are selling drugs and, and all this other kind of shit, but who's racking up the fucking body count in this movie? It's Will Smith. Uh, I mean, overall, I think this is just... Uh, recently it talks about in a video how, uh, I got how I always praise, if you're going to do an action comedy, keep your villain serious. And this film does keep its villain serious, but also keeps its villain utterly uninteresting. Uh, this is one of the most dull, forgettable, I mean, who even was this guy who played the villain? This was a huge hit movie back in 2003. I don't even know this guy. He didn't, and his name didn't ring a bell, his, he didn't look familiar. It's like, uh, wow, man, you got to play the villain in a big hit blockbuster, but you are so fucking forgettable, you didn't get a call back. Uh, or any job offers. Um, I'm gonna give Bad Boys, uh, two stars. Bad Boys 2, two stars. Now, uh, the original Bad Boys, back in 95, I saw it a couple of times on cable when it first came out, uh, Seem to remember liking Tia Leone in it. <clears throat> and uh, definitely saw it one time with a bunch of my friends when I was in high school. But, you know, we were, you know. <laughs> uh, just I just thought the whole, the whole, it's basically just a sitcom with gunfights, these films. Uh Take that for what you will. It's a total fictitious concept of law enforcement and of, you know, the city of Miami in general. And that's another thing, you know, Michael Bay's films. Michael Bay's films only seem to have two colors, orange and blue. You know, I, 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 guess, some, I guess some directors have just their look, but his is really washed out. And also, I recently in a video made a crack talking about how I like Michael Bay films. That was just a joke, people. I mean, <laughs> I don't want y'all to think ill of me. I liked The Rock. I enjoyed the first Transformers movie well enough. Uh, Pain and Gain is a legit, solid, really, really good movie. That's a good movie. Pain and Gain's a real good movie. But yeah, Michael Bay's films are just, uh, they're just Flash. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really got to say. I think, you know, it took me 17 years to finally sit down and watch this movie. And uh, I wasn't missing anything. And this is a film that, you know, friends... Family, co-workers, for, for years have told me, you know, sit down and watch it, Jake. You know, you would like this movie. I didn't. <laughs> I really didn't at all. I, uh, you know, sitcom, sitcom bullshit storytelling. is. There's nothing but the, the sitcom shit. There's nothing but this old, old, 
old kind of humor and setup. You know, shit that goes back to, like, fucking, you know, Socrates kind of shit. I mean, it's just unoriginal. It's not funny. It's not exciting. And it's really fucking long. This movie clocks in at about, at just under two and a half hours. And, fuck, man, they could have easily trimmed 30, 40 fucking minutes off this movie. 45 this movie didn't had no excuse to be as in, as absurdly long as it was, especially consideringly considering there's really no, really no story. Uh, fucking Martin Lawrence is pissy about his sister doing stuff, and then it just the sheer fact that she's a chop, cop, he's upset about, and then he finds out she's dating Will Smith, he's upset about. So almost exactly like him being. And that's another thing. He, the first film, he's insecure about his relationship with his wife, played by Theresa Randall. Oh, I hope she comes back by, for the third one. That is a gorgeous woman who did not end up in enough movies. Uh, this movie, he's you know overprotective of his of his, sis, of his little sister. I'm betting you, I'm betting you money right now. You can take this bet if you like. I mean, if, I'm, I'll bet you a nickel. I'm not a gambler. <laughs> That the third film is going to involve Marcus getting emotional and ridiculous over something involving his daughter or his granddaughter. One of those two things are going to happen. Or the fact that his daughter, he's going to find out, I bet you his father, he's going to find out his daughter's pregnant, he's going to be a grandfather, and that's why he's all emotional for the third one. I bet you. I bet you that's what it's going to be. Anyhow, uh, hope you all like this video. I'm sure if you're watching this video, I'm sure you've already seen Bad Boys 2. It was a film I avoided for years, and, and and it wasn't, it was, I, like, went out of my way to avoid it. It's just a movie I didn't give a shit about ever seeing, you know. Uh, I think Martin Lawrence can be funny and small doses. I mean, I liked the show. Martin was fun. Uh, he was really funny in Wild Hogs. He was great in uh, uh, Nothing to Lose with Tim Robbins. That's a funny movie. That's a really good movie. And I'm, uh, I'm, I, I go back and forth with Will Smith. Uh, you know, I Robot, really great. After Earth, what the fuck? Anyhow, yeah, I hope y'all like this video. Chime back, do the thing, whatever. You know, you know how this works, right? You know. Anyhow, I'm Jake Davis, and I'll be catching on the fly.